Hello, my name is Andrew McGovern. I'm a principal consultant at Irwin. And today I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to walk through the native support that we just announced for Snowflake in our 2020 R2 release. What we're gonna be doing is reverse engineering the existing structure, converting it into Snowflake. And then I'm also going to reverse engineer an existing Snowflake structure to create a data model. Each one of these actions will take about two minutes. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to reverse engineer from SQL Server. We do support a vast range of, of DBMS systems for reverse engineering and forward engineering, our native support. What we're gonna do is we're going to reverse engineer a very small database called eMovies. We can see that the model's been created here. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to create a new model based on this structure, we're going to have it set up for Snowflake. So we'll set this here. And now we're going to derive a new model in Snowflake format. Again, this is a logical physical model. If we come over to the physical side, we can see the specific structure here. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to connect to our Snowflake environment. We're going to create a new database called eMovies. As we're doing this, we're creating the schema to implement onto Snowflake, and we can see that here. So now we're going to generate this, and this is going to execute directly in our Snowflake environment and create the specific structure. So what we're seeing here is how we can take an existing structure from pretty much any DBMS and convert it into Snowflake and then forward engineer that into the Snowflake environment. And now we are complete. So if we go up into Snowflake, we'll see that the eMovies database has been created. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse engineer an existing structure here, the Snowflake sample database. So to do that, we're gonna reverse engineer. What we're also gonna do is we're gonna add a model template so that when this is finished, we'll have a five diagram model based on our standards. So from here, we make our connection, specify the database. Then we connect. Now we do provide native support for multiple databases. And this process, as you can see, is gonna jumpstart anybody's conversion to Snowflake because they can take what they have existing, they can move it into Snowflake, and then they can manage that environment by leveraging the templates and the models that we create for our users. So what you'll see here, as we've now created an ER diagram along with a physical diagram for the structure of the Snowflake sample. Here's a very simplified view. Here's the physical structure. If we look at any of these, we can actually see the DDL that's gonna be used to create them. So that's gonna conclude this very brief demo. Thank you for your time and hopefully you can see the power of leveraging Erwin Data Modeler and Snowflake.